Hey what's good this is Jim Sizzle from Team Legion and in this video I will go over routes with some of the quickest cap times possible for each map. Uh, this first one, Diamond Sword Kata, it involves a pretty serious rock bounce uh, right by the ribs by Blood Eagle Base. Grabs at about 320 and caps in around 11 seconds so it's pretty quick. Right here you don't have to nitro on, but I did just to get a little bit more speed. Now on the bloody side of Catabatic, uh, we have basically more or less a standard back and front route. I mean, it's not a particularly new route or anything, but I have yet to find a quicker a route with a quicker return time than this. It's about I think nine seconds, so it's pretty quick return time. Now on Sunstar, this is a pretty cool back to front I came up with. Um, basically you go around behind the enemy base and then you go through the enemy base. Um, now the enemy generator does have to be down for this to work, but as long as it is down, it's a straight back to front. I'm uh, grabbing a full health and caps in about 10 seconds or less. Now on top of Ruins, of course everyone's favorite map, uh, we have, you know, basically standard right to left, um, you know, your standard 400 route that a lot of people know how to run, uh, but my exit route is a bit different. Uh, you go basically straight to the middle instead of wide right, and I do a disc jump, so I mean, I don't have a lot of health, but you get to your base in around 10 seconds, so it's a pretty quick return time for this big of a map. This is a uh, left to right route on Rain Dance. Uh, it grabs at about 360 and caps in just under 12 seconds. Um, this is, of all the cap routes, this is the slowest one uh, in terms of cap time. It does take nearly 12 seconds to cap it, but I, tr I could not find a quicker route than this though. Um, because of the pillar behind the flag, it makes it difficult to do a straight back to front. Um, and also, the mass is quite big, so. The next four routes are all dry dock routes, starting with this Diamond Sword Go to High route. 
Now there are a few other low routes for DS that have quicker return times than this one, but this route is great for breaking sniper line of sight. And right here I thrust away from the boundary wall to sort of redirect the mental. Now for the high to low diamond sword side, uh, this is the uh, rock bounce route. Uh, basically, just do a normal high to low, but you take it, you know, a bit for, a bit wider and hit the uh, rock behind the uh, flag eagle base. And then uh, once you grab the flag, you basically just take it midfield and caps in about about ten seconds. Now over on the uh, bloody list side, this is the low to high route. Um, basically, you take it wide, similar to the diamond sword route, um, but it's a bit different. Uh, you'll see. And um, on this one, I take it high over the mountains after a disc jump. You can take it through the midfield, and it might actually be quicker than this. But um, you know, flying over the mountains looks cooler, right? So. Now for the high to low route, it's uh, nothing too fancy, no rock bounces or anything, basically just go high, um, take it really wide, bounce off the uh, boundary wall, and uh, just not turn yourself down to the flag and take it through midfield, and it caps in about 10 seconds or less. Now on Tartarus, this is a back to front round I came up with. Um, it has quite a long setup time, about three full regions, and it's not the easiest route to pull off, but you do grab about 360 if done right, and caps in about 10 to 11 seconds, so it's a pretty quick return time. This is a standard back to front that pretty much everybody runs. Um, there's nothing too special about this, but you definitely want to pay attention to the return route here. Um, yeah, I take it low instead of high because any good sniper will really shut you down if you take it high. I mean, stand to stand's cool and all, but really, if you're playing in a competitive setting with a really good sniper and you don't want to die, uh, you want to take it as low as you can. You know, basically under the under the uh, aqueduct. 
in the midfield. Now on the return route, there's a little hill you have to hit, sort of perfectly, otherwise you'll lose speed to crater. This is it right here. So as long as you hit this, um, it'll take you right to the flag stand for a very quick return time. Now I also included a quick side-to-side -side route for arcs as well. Um, this is going to be a left-to-right route. Um, caps in about 10-11 to 11 seconds. Um, grab speed's not too fast, about 280 with a Nitron. Uh, but it's, you know, for a side-to-side for a -side route, it does cap pretty quick. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you found this helpful, and uh, I'll see you next time.